August 9th, 2017. Just wanted to do a little update about the ram pump today. Um, August 1st, it appears, is the time that when our spring starts to produce a little less water volume. Um, up until that point, it was producing around 30 gallons a minute, maybe even as much as 40 at times. Uh, we're down to about, uh, I would say around 20, because we're overflowing probably about five right now in the pond. Um, so I had to make some adjustments uh, about a week ago. Um, we hit that point where the, uh, the valve wouldn't run with all the weights on. So uh, I'm just going to go over a little, uh, a few quick things here on ram pumps and scalability based on your water supply. Um, so I made some adjustments and uh, we'll just take a look down the pipe and you can see, I hope you can see, that uh, our water levels are much lower than they were earlier in the spring. And in fact, we're only about an inch and a half or two inches over the output side of the standpipe here. Our water level's right about here. Um, so that's pretty close. If we get too much lower, our stand, our uh, drive pipe will start to take on air bubbles, and that'll cause the pump to fail on occasion. And that can be a real pain in the butt. So the way to avoid that is to scale the amount of water that you're using. And there's several different methods to do that. So let's talk about that. Number one, I did the foot valve upgrade this year in part because I could scale it better and in part because it's a guided valve and operates much more cleaner and much more efficiently. Um, so what you're looking at right now is the valve with all of its weights off and I will show you the weights quickly that were on it that we took off. So all of those washers and that those two nuts, uh, just the one nut, the rusty nut, uh, were on as weights and that changes the cycle. Uh, this pump, with all those weights on, runs at about 54 cycles per minute. With all those weights off, it runs at about 63 cycles per minute. Um, and I know that seems counterintuitive, but uh, higher cycles per minute is less chance for the water in the drive pipe to accelerate before it hits the, the valve stop. And consequently, there's less energy conducted forward through the secondary check valve. So. Uh, if your cycles per minute goes up, your volume delivery goes down. If your cycles per minute goes down, your volume delivery goes up, as a general rule. Anyway, so you can see that I've scaled it back. It's running at a little bit different frequency. And maybe what I'll do is grab a real quick clip from back in the spring when it was running with all the weights on. And then you can compare uh, how much faster a cycle this is and how much less water is being allowed through. So I caught something yesterday when I was down here checking on the pump and uh, I felt it was worth mentioning. So we'll go in and take a quick look. That scaling is working at maintaining the standpipe and not getting air bubbles in. Now last summer we had a really dry year and uh, by August 1st we were really down to, uh, I think we were down to the inch and a quarter uh, valve. Yeah, so anyway, so that's my point. So what I'm gonna do is stop this valve and I'll show you uh, just how easy it is to scale back your water consumption. So hang on one sec. Okay, uh, I'm not going to go through all the different valve sizes that I have. Uh, I have everything from the inch and a half down to a three quarter. I have not tried a half inch, but I would imagine that would work as well. Um, in any case, this is the one inch valve that's in. And uh, so we're using even less water now. So basically as the season goes on, if it dries out more, I may have to drop the inch and a half uh, foot valve that you see there on the left hand side and replace it with this one inch uh, swing check valve. I don't have a one inch foot valve and I, uh, I don't have the money to go out and buy foot valves for every size at the moment. Eventually they probably will be replaced with foot valves for, uh, for the future. Um, but for now, <clears throat> you can see that uh, there's quite a bit of scalability inherent in a ram pump. Um, as part of the reason that I chose to build the inch and a half ram pump because I knew that this spring could supply that at least uh, in the, uh, the better part of the year as far as water supply goes. And, um, and I figured I could probably scale it back and it turns out you can. Um, so this one inch valve when it's running is 128 cycles per minute. Um, so significantly higher cycles per minute and obviously significantly less water delivered. But at the end of the day, 
uh, it's better to deliver some water to your farm than none at all. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to point out that these pumps are very scalable, and uh, and so if your ram pump doesn't have enough water supply late in the season, don't get upset. Go out and get a smaller impetus valve, and you can scale it back and still get some water out of your pump. Uh, now, it won't build as much pressure or pump as high, but uh, if you've designed your ram pump well, and uh, your parameters are right, you'll, you'll still be okay. This ram pump with the inch and a half uh, check valve on it will produce up to 90 PSI, and that's good for over 200 vertical feet. Um, I don't think I've actually run a pressure test on this. Um, or maybe I did, but I don't really remember the results. But I would guess it would produce 40 or 50 PSI, which is still plenty to overcome the 72 vertical feet that I'm climbing. I only need 31 PSI to uh, to at least equal that, and a little more to overdo it. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to point out that they're scalable. Um, I hope this helps someone, uh, and uh, you know, I guess that's it for information. One more quick thing I meant to show you was how much more water is in the chamber now with the one inch valve in. You can see we're holding water about up here now, whereas before we were down in this area. So uh, we are retaining a lot more water. So yeah. Anyway, thanks again for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.